as a young boy in the city of Riverbank where I grew up, my dad was a volunteer firefighter. And anytime there was a call, there was a siren on top of the fire station that would go off. And you could hear that siren all across town. And every time that siren went off, I would jump on my bike and I'd run down to the fire station because I wanted to know where they were going. I wanted to, I was kind of the, uh, that uh, fire engine chaser, so to speak. And so I would look through the window and uh, on the board, they would always write the address of where the call was. And so I would get on my bike and I would ride to that address and I'd watch the firefighters and all the things they did. And so my dad being a volunteer kind of exposed me to that, that world. And it was uh, always something that I had really wanted to do. And uh, so when I turned 18 years old, I had an opportunity right out of high school with the neighboring town, the city of Oakdale. I became a volunteer. Within a year, I got a paid position and I'm going on my uh, 28th year this year. And uh, it's the best decision I ever made. Uh, it's been a, a wild ride as it all always is for firefighters, just the, the process of your career, the calls you go to, but being able to help people on a daily basis, there's no other job that you can do like firefighting, where every day you get to go out and help somebody solve a problem. And, uh, and so I've always appreciated that. And uh, towards the twilight of my career now, uh, I'll, I will miss that, but I'm definitely happy that uh, I started where I did.